Welcome to the instructional video of installation of a DigiFence for a SawStop fence. The specific DigiFence kit is designed for installation only on SawStop and Steel City brand fences. The following installation method provides a safe installation location for the electronic scale, meaning drop parts will not harm the electronics. If you frequently lift your fence off the table, we recommend using our optional hinge kit accessory. This will allow for very rapid removal and installation of the fence without position loss or the need for recalibration. Please note that this manual describes our recommended installation method. A different method may be desirable. Please consult the factory to verify if alternate installations will void the warranty before attempting. The following components are included in this kit. The electronic scale. The standard scale length is 56 inches long, but custom sizes are available from 12 to 120 inches. A battery powered digital readout. A readout bracket, which is a white steel part. Please note if the hinge kit was ordered, your bracket will have two additional holes in it. An encoder slash sensor with a short cable. A guide clip, which safely transfers fence motion to the motion of the electronics. The tools required for this installation are safety glasses, an adjustable wrench, an optional center punch, a drill and tap for a 1 quarter 20 threaded bolt, which is optional. A drill and tap for 8-32 screws, which are included in this kit, plus tapping fluid. A 3 16 inch drill bit. A tap handle. An electric drill, and we recommend cordless. A pair of small clamps that open to 4 inches. And a number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Please watch this video in its entirety and read all of the instructions in your manual before beginning the installation. Installing the readout bracket. Step 1. Remove the lock nut that holds the locking lever to the fence. Please ensure to only remove the nut, not the bolt. Step 2. Place the readout bracket flush with the right side of the fence. The large hole in the readout bracket will fit over the locking lever bolt. Step 3. Reinstall the nut. Hold the readout bracket so the bottom is parallel to the floor and tighten the nut. The next step is recommended but optional. It provides a stronger installation of the readout bracket. Step 4. Place the bracket in the correct position. Mark the position of the readout bracket's upper hole onto the fence using a transfer punch or a center punch. Step 5. Temporarily loosen the lock nut from step 3. Swing the readout bracket backwards so the marked location is accessible. Drill the marked position with a number 7 drill bit. Tap this hole with a 1 quarter 20 thread tap. Brush away any scraps. Step 6. Install the supplied 1 quarter 20 threaded screw with thread lock using the screwdriver. Retighten the nut for the lower bolt. Installing the digital readout. Please note that if you ordered the hinge kit, you may choose to skip this step. Step 7. Remove the two screws on the front of the digital readout housing and set them aside. Step 8. Pull the cover off of the base. Step 9. Drill out, or punch out, the upper left and lower right hole locations. These are partially drilled already. Step 10. Attach the digital readout base to the readout bracket using the supplied number 8-32 by 3 8 inch flathead screws.
Step 11. Replace the digital readout cover and tighten the screws. Guide clip installation. This assembly may have been started at the factory. Please note if you ordered the hinge kit, you may choose to skip this step. Step 12. Make a rough assembly of the parts of the guide clip. Slide two of the supplied 8 32 by 3 8 inch screws into the guide clip. The heads of the screws should face the opposite groove and notch. Make sure that the dimple on the piece of black plastic is facing upward toward the ceiling. Step 13. Add a washer or two onto each of the screws. Step 14. Install the guide clip onto the white readout bracket with a screwdriver as shown in the manual. Do not run the screws all the way through yet as the guide clip setup will be finalized later in the installation process. The rough assembly is to make sure that the guide clip will capture the encoder properly. Please note that the spacers and washers used here will be changed in a later step and do not need to be perfectly set at this time. Install the electronic scale. Step 16. Mount the electronic scale to the stepped plates as shown in your manual using the supplied screws. The shorter screws go into the holes on the front closest to you. The longer screws go into the holes on the back further from you. Some quick notes. Three plates are provided but using only two is sufficient. There is not a left or right end of the electronic scale. Its orientation does not affect its operation. A frequently asked question is about where to mount the scale laterally. As long as you can capture the zero point, scale placement is completely immaterial. The system will start at any point along its length and count up from there. Clamp the scale assembly into place to temporarily secure it, making sure the scale starts near to the zero point of measurement. Step 17. Slide the encoder back onto the scale if it has been removed. The cable should exit toward the rear of the saw if possible. If the cable cannot exit toward the rear of the saw, the digital readout will count backwards. This can be fixed using reverse scaling. The details of this are in your user manual. Step 19. Lightly clamp the scale assembly in position if not already done. Step 20. Slide the encoder along the electronic scale so it is positioned under or next to the guide clip. Adjust the scale assembly's position front to back to ensure the guide clip will properly engage the encoder. If the encoder does not fit under the guide clip, raise or lower the guide clip until it does. The guide clip has a notch in which the post of the encoder should engage. If it does not engage, adjust the scale assembly forward or backward as necessary until the guide clip can engage and disengage properly. Step 21. Fully tighten the clamps holding the scale assembly in place. When mounting the scale in the next steps, make sure that the encoder is disengaged from the guide clip assembly. Step 22. Using the holes in the stepped scale brackets as a guide, drill into the angle iron using the supplied number 29 drill bit. You will also drill into the fence tube during this process. Step 23. To drill these holes, you will need to drill upward. If this is a problem, the entire fence assembly can be removed from the table and placed on top to be done right side up. Step 24. Use a 3 16 inch drill bit to enlarge the guide holes in the stepped scale brackets. 
Pro tip, if drilling up into the assembly, as shown in this video, you can place a magnet near where the hole is being drilled to collect the chips in order to keep them out of your face. Step 25. Using the supplied 8-32 thread tap, tap the holes in the angle iron. Use oil when tapping. As soon as the tap is engaged, turn one in and back out one to break the chips. The moment the tap starts to bind, back up at least half a turn. If using an electric drill to tap, make sure that your drill is on a low torque setting in order to not break the tap. As soon as the torque happens to kick out the drive, back out at least half a turn. If in doubt at any point in the tapping process, back out completely and re-oil the tap before continuing. Pro tip, when the sound of the drill bit changes or the torque stops, you're almost through. Back up and go right back in. Remove any burrs using a countersink or a small file. It's recommended to drill and tap one hole at a time, add the screw, then go back to do the other two holes. Step 26. Attach the scale assembly to the angle iron using the supplied 8-32 by 3 8 inch Phillip panhead screws. It's recommended to use thread lock for these screws. Please note that you will only need to do the screws at each end of the fence. It's optional to do all three if it's wanted, but it is not required. Finalizing the guide clip setup. Please note that if you ordered the hinge kit, you may choose to skip this step. Step 27. Add or remove washers and spacers to achieve the proper vertical position for the guide clip. The ideal spacing from the electronic scale to the guide clip is 0 0.930 inches or 23.6 millimeters. This may be difficult to measure in place, so these tips might be helpful. The guide clip should flex, bending down a bit when the correct pressure is achieved. Deflection of about 0 0.050 inches, the thickness of a washer, is perfect. The guide clip should not touch the encoder anywhere other than the post. If you use a finger to push up on the guide clip just under the encoder post, the guide clip should not have vertical movement. The guide clip, when engaged, should click into place, like this. Again, the engagement should create a click. Fully screw the guide clip into place once the placement is finalized. Again, test for the click of engagement when the encoder is slid in. Final setup. Step 28. Connect the encoder cable to the digital readout. Step 29. Move the fence in both directions, checking for binding. Make sure that the gap between the readout bracket and the fence does not close to zero and that the gap is consistent. Adjust the guide clip spacing or the fence alignment as needed. Step 30. Verify that the digital readout reads larger numbers when moved from left to right. If it does not, the readout will need to be configured to reverse the reading direction. Please see your user manual for this information. The best calibration method to ensure accuracy. Step 1. With the fence locked in position near the saw blade, cut a small board. Step 2. Measure this cut board with the most precise measuring tool you have available and write down your measurement. Step 3. Without moving the fence, press the datum key. Step 4. Use the plus key to increase the reading on the display. Set the displayed value to match your measured value. Note that you can press and hold the plus key to count up very quickly. The rate of change increases every three seconds the key is held down. To lock the keypad. Press and hold the on-off button. Tap the units key. The lock symbol will turn on on the display. This disables the plus, minus, and datum keys. To unlock the keypad, press and hold the on-off button. Tap the units key. The lock symbol will disappear. Step 6. The readout should be recalibrated when the blade curve changes or when the battery is replaced. If you require any further assistance, please contact Accurate Technology at 1-828-654-7920. Please have your kit information ready when calling, including the machine model, part number, date of purchase, and point of purchase. 
You can also email customer service at proscale.com.